I'm here to talk about the correct and the incorrect way to add numbers here. We have a series of numbers here that we're going to add up year one, year two. Um, most of you, if you're working with a calculator, would just add up cells A2, A3, A4, A5, A6, such as this. Also takes a lot longer. Okay, two, three, four, five, six. Thirty-three thousand comes here. Correct way is to click on the sigma key, the auto sum. We go over here, it shows it, we do it. That is the correct way here. Wanna show you now let's say you were to delete a row from here. We don't need that number, we delete. What happens here? Pound ref. It's looking for the missing row here, which was once a four, it readjusted the other two into here. This is correct, B2 through B5. Originally, B2 through B6. What do I do to fix this? I click on the undo. So we've got that there. Let's say we want to do some statistics. Again, I want to show you the correct way and the wrong way. I'm going to add a column to the left, insert, and I want to find these things here. Average, min, and maximum. Okay. Uh, we're only dealing with about five different cells here. But again, what you could do is say something like this. Equals sum. And then you could just go in here. Plus. 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 Close the parentheses, divided by 5. This is how you would do it with a calculator. It is the correct answer. Best way is to click next to that drop-down arrow here. Click on Average. When you're doing this, make sure you highlight the correct range. White cross here, Enter. They're both correct answers. The answers are correct. And column B, the formula is wrong. Again, if I were to delete this row, what's going to happen? Two error messages. Not good. Let's undo a couple of times. Once. Curly arrow. On there. And the minimum. Should I just type in 4,000 here? Yeah, it looks fine. But what we should do is the min function like this um, on here. Then actually, my eye saw the wrong number. It was 3,000, not that. So you got to be careful. So I type it in here. I have the minimum number there. Is this the formula? No. This says equal min. Again, the maximum number is 14,000. I could type it in. Or the easy way, I could type in equal max, highlight the range, close the parentheses, that. What happens if I were to change a number in here? Let's say this becomes 1,000. And this becomes, let's say, 8,000. I change these numbers over here. It's not reflecting the changes because you're not using a formula. Best way to do this, have correct form. These are all correct. Max, min, average, sum. And what I could do is just copy these, paste them over here. We now have the correct things because the nice thing, if I were also to add a row and add these numbers, See how everything recalculated the total to the range. Hope this helps.